After several recent arrests and crimes against children across the state, we're looking at how the court system and advocacy groups work to keep children safe and bring charges against offenders. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark joins us live in the newsroom. He's on this story. Michael. Yeah, that's right. Before there's a court case, a children's advocacy center allows the victim to share an allegation in a protected environment so that officers can use that child's story to start a criminal investigation. From Jefferson County and beyond, CBS 42 has reported on several stories where children are victims to physical and sexual abuse. We are seasoned prosecutors. But these cases tear us up. Jefferson County District Attorney Mike Anderton says oftentimes a family member is a suspect in a case, leaving prosecutors with challenges. To say something against a family member that might get that family member in trouble causes that child to hesitate. Some other family member may try to influence that child. That's where child advocacy centers step in. And for the Andertons, it's a family affair. Anderton's daughter Rachel helps kids at the Prescott House. We see about 400 children per year, just our section of Jefferson County. Once a child makes an allegation, law enforcement brings him or her to a center to talk with a forensic interviewer while investigators listen in from down the hall. It allows the child to not have to tell their story over and over again. Anderton says centers see more reports when abuse is in the spotlight, like the Larry Nasser case and Me Too movement. Advocates also help with past abuse. We would rather you make a police report and we check it out over here and find out there's nothing to it than for you to ignore it and find out that this is a long going, ongoing thing. Counselors say effects from abuse can vary from child to child and warning signs aren't always the same, but the most important thing for families, prosecutors and helpers is learning how to listen. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the Prescott House, we'll have a link in this story online and through our CBS 42 News app. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Michael.